Okay. Um, okay, maybe we should do like a little, like, hi, I'm Isis. I'm yes. Marlo. Okay. Hi, I'm Isis. I'm Marlo. <laughs> Take two. Hi, I'm Isis. I'm Marlo. And we're here today because we wanted to thank you, our incredible audience and the world at large, for voting for our Webby Award and supporting us in this incredible win. And since we only are offered five words in our speech, we and we have so much more to tell you, yeah, we figured, yes, we we thought that we would we would let you know how we really feel in more than five words and also brainstorm how to bring that down to just five words and keep it clear and succinct and to the point. So I was thinking that I wanted to tell you guys how honored and thankful we are that the whole world is coming around and supporting pole dancing as an art form, um, as a form of fitness, as uh, a sport, as a storytelling device, and many other things. But I'm not exactly sure how to get that all in five words. That's definitely not five words. How about pole dancing makes the world a better place? It's kind of slow. And also, not five words. Pole dancing. Is the bomb. The bomb. Pole dancing is the bomb. No. Pole dancing belongs in your commercial. Pole dancing belongs in your commercial. I like that. The Webby Awards is going to be some really big, big ad agencies, brands, tech and media companies. I want them to know and understand that pole dancing reaches people. Everybody is interested in pole dancing. It's controversial, it's exciting, it's athletic, it's changes intriguing, lives. it changes lives. Tell us about that, in what ways? I think that for a lot of people they didn't feel like they belonged to something until they got into pole. They didn't have something that, that motivated them to make many choices, when, what, when, when they get up, what they could do after they get up, what they eat, just to make better choices for themselves. And I, I believe that if, if people are making better and healthier choices for themselves, they're making better choices for the planet as a whole. So as crazy as it sounds, I really do think that yeah. it, as people become more passionate about their their fitness and health, and particularly people, it'll lead to, to happier, healthier people. It's true, when you're exercising and you're taking care of yourself and you have that built into your life on a daily you have basis. A passion. Exactly. It does guide your choices, it guides your dietary choices. And then if you're feeling better and you're eating better, guess what? You have more confidence. Then you do better at your job. People respond to you differently. Also, if you eat well and you're healthy, you also happen to look your best, and people also respond to that in this culture. And so it can be like incredibly powerful. It's an, it's an outlet for expression. It can be whatever you want it to be. It could, it could be fitness, it could be sexy, it could be storytelling like that like you've done. It's so physical, but it's also so much more than that. How to bring all that down to five words? I don't really know, and I don't know that I'm going to have the answer in this moment. What I do know is that if you tune into the 17th Annual Webby Awards, the 22nd of May, you're going to be able to hear our speech. Right? It'll be five words by then. It's going to be five words. There might be costumes. I don't know. There might be a striptease. Probably not. There might be... I don't special human tricks. Yes. There might be special... Choreography. There might be choreography. There are no words in human tricks. We wouldn't even have to use up one of our five words for Marlo to stand on her hands. <laughs> It'd be amazing.